We have a bit of a situation going on with the coronavirus and a lot of people are not able to get to their gyms or maybe they're forced in some sort of quarantine depending on where they live and they are gonna have to work out from their home. So what I wanna do along with a lot of other fitness uh, YouTubers, influencers out there, is put out some exercise that you guys can do and workouts at your house. I'll be putting these out pretty frequently. So give them a shot and hopefully you enjoy them. So the first thing we're gonna be covering with this workout is gonna be the warm up. So I'll take you step by step through the warm up. Uh, from then on, we're gonna go right into the meat and bones of the workout that I'll have you guys doing. And then it's gonna be always a cool down. So I'll give you guys a cool down. And approximately this whole thing could take anywhere, uh, let's just say from 25 to 40 minutes, depending on your level and ability. Uh, so scale it accordingly. All right, my friends, so we're gonna dive into the warm up for this workout. So the first thing you wanna do is have some sort of clock. You can use your iPhone, you could use literally a clock on the wall, uh, but something you need to track for time. So we're gonna set a clock for six minutes in length. If you feel like you need a little bit more, extend that anywhere from six to 10 minutes. And if you feel like you're getting warm pretty fast, you can always cut it short depending on how you're feeling. So during that six minutes, we're just gonna do an AMREP, which means as many rounds or reps as possible with the exercise that I'm gonna tell you guys right now for six minutes. So the first one we're gonna do is just an inchworm to a a hip stretch. I really like doing these just to kind of get blood flow throughout the body. It also feels really good. So it just kind of sets the tone for what we're about to do. So I want you guys to do three reps of this. And then from there, we're going to move on to push-ups. Okay. So we're going to do five push-ups. If you are more advanced with push-ups, you can do anywhere from five to 10. And if you are not that great at push-ups, feel free to go to your knees or modify however you need to. The next movement from there we're gonna do is just typical body weight squat. So we're gonna do 10 reps with the body weight squat. The more warm you get, if you wanna turn it into a jump squat, you can totally do that as well. Uh, we just kinda of wanna warm up the entire uh, body throughout this. The last one we're gonna do is just uh, jumping jacks for 15 reps. So basic jumping jacks. And then if you want, say you're outside, you can just give a quick jog. Maybe it's gonna be over from 50 to 100 feet and then go back through that rotation as many times as possible in the six minutes. All right, so for the main course, what we're gonna do for our workout is we wanna set a clock for 20 minutes. That's my recommended time, but once again, you can scale it to however you want. You can go longer or shorter, all depending on your ability, which makes it very nice and custom to you. For the format of our work to rest ratio, we're gonna go 30 seconds of work per movement, followed up by 30 seconds of rest. So that just gives us a nice way to increase our heart rate and then let it come down before we move on to the next movement. So I have four movements that you're gonna be doing rotating through for that entire 20 minutes. So the first movement we're gonna start with is gonna be burpees. Now when we do burpees, we want you guys to go all the way down, touch your chest to the deck or just to the ground, and then jump up full extension at the top and clap behind your head. Pretty simple. Second movement we're gonna do is gonna be a mountain climber and a push-up complex. So when we're doing this, we're gonna do five mountain climbers. So that's just gonna be total, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go two push-ups. And you're gonna repeat that for 30 seconds. The third movement, we're gonna get our abs a little bit more involved here, and we're gonna do V-ups. When we're doing the V-ups, we wanna make sure that we go all the way up and touch our toes, getting our legs and our shoulder blades off the ground. If you can't do this, a normal sit-up will be just fine. The last movement that I have is just gonna be a squat jack. So just a variation of a body weight squat, but it's gonna get your heart rate up a little bit more, and you're probably gonna feel that burn in the quads. So we're gonna rotate through this for five total rounds, getting us to 20 minutes, doing the 30-30 split. All right, so now the workout is done, we're gonna go into a nice and easy cool down. So what I want you guys to do is, once again, set a timer for 10 minutes. I want you guys, if you can, to go outside. If not, you can easily do this at your house, so I'll just give you a quick modification. But I would like you guys 